Hello everybody and a warm welcome back to the Energy Connect studio here at Gastec 2025 in Milan. My name is Rebecca McLaughlin Easton and I'm delighted to be your host for these important conversations with industry leaders. Today I'm delighted to say that in the hot seat is Freeman Shaheen. He is the president of Chevron Global Gas. Freeman, it's great to have you in the Energy Connect studio. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Talk to me about the role of natural gas when it comes to meeting growing energy demand today. Well, natural gas is not only helping us meet the growing demand, but it's also helping lower our carbon intensity. Uh, coal has been the base load, and as we displace coal, we're seeing really a drop. And, you know, in large producing countries like the United States, we can see that proof point where we've really lowered our carbon intensity. There is more than enough gas in the world for us, but it takes partnership to develop that because it takes long-term commitment, and we have to attract the capital to make that happen. And that's what you see going on, and that's why we're here at Gas Tech to have those conversations with different uh, organizations, different countries, and, and help enable and drive where gas can drive that progress. Talk to me specifically, Freeman, about natural gas within the frame of developing economies. Well, we have large producing areas. I mean, just 15 years ago, the U.S. was going to be, or, or roughly that, was going to be a large import market. Now it's the largest export market. And that's enabling gas to get supplied around the globe. And so when you chill it to minus 264, you can put it on a ship and send it, send it anywhere. The other side, you just warm it back up and uh, uh, you have gas coming into the system. And so that helps enable and, and having that power, that energy makes life easier, makes enables progress for society. Tell me, how can natural gas and LNG contribute to decarbonization efforts when it comes to reducing our reliance on fossil fuels like coal? Well, we've seen it. I have a great proof point is the United States. Our base used to be coal. And now uh, you have a very uh, interesting mix where gas has become uh, 42 percent, so the base load in the mix. Renewables is growing. It's been a fantastic journey that we're on, about 24, 25 ish. And coal, there's still a little bit. I mean, it's around 15 percent in those harder to abate areas. But that we've seen a lowering of carbon intensity. The other thing that we're doing is, and what I'm very proud of our company at Chevron, is we're lowering our, our operating our intensity, and it's in all of our objectives. And so in the Permian, for example, what's a large producing area, we no longer routinely flare. We've redesigned our skids to go tankless. Our motto is for methane, keep it in the pipe. We're using AI. Our equipment can tell us where it needs help versus have to randomly go and select. We use drones to monitor. Uh, it's just really fantastic, the evolution. I thought the Secretary Berman said it really great. It's called gas tech and innovation. And that's what we continue to see in our industry. And I think Chevron, we're on the leading edge of that. Talk to me about the key regions and indeed the assets that really anchor Chevron's global gas business and how that plays into the broader strategy. I'm really proud of it because it starts with us in Western Australia and our operations. We have two of the largest operating facilities in Gorgon and Wheatstone, very complex, very difficult remote areas. Um, and a lot of that base loads uh, into a key customer of ours into Japan, China, and other Southeast Asia markets uh, like Singapore and so forth. Uh, coming over, we have a large operation in the East Med. It's, it's just extraordinary. We're excited about the growth and the potential there and the connectivity of the region. You know, it's a tragedy what's going on with the events of today, but uh, energy is connecting and enabling human progress there as well. Uh, we have uh, really good operations in Western Africa, uh, in Angola, as well as Nigeria, and, and potential for more growth out of there. Argentina is a nice developing area as well. And in North America, um, uh, we have a large production of oil and gas, and we've contracted now for 7 million tons of uh, regas of, of liquefaction capacity to come out with, with key partners. We looked at where's the best use of our capital, and for us, it was to partner with people that think about lowering carbon intensity, think about safety and reliability, and, and we've partnered with some good companies in Chenier and Venture Global, as well as Energy Transfer. Partnership and collaboration is so important to this industry. It's partnership. I mean, with, with gas, you're making long-term commitments. And uh, you're getting married, if you will, you know, 20 plus years. And so it's, it's, uh, you need to have a lot of faith and confidence in each other. And that takes that key partnership to make it's that a happen. Nice analogy. How does Chevron's focus on a resilient and a diverse portfolio set it apart in what can only be described as a very competitive market? Well, we work every day to be that partner of choice, right? We want to be known for our people, our performance, and our partnership. And so it's about collaboration. 
Uh, when you sign these long-term agreements, you don't know how everything's going to always unfold. And so there has to be a bit of confidence and trust in how you can work. You have to help each other out and collaborate on how we do that and create those win-win environments. We dislike high prices as much as we dislike low prices. We all need to uh, work together and collaborate. So we like to manage all the way from the molecule to the customer. And, and that's our focus. As the co-host of GasTech, what are your takeaways from this year's event? Many saying it's the biggest and best yet. I, I have to say, you know, several years ago, it was a different mood and energy and, and uh, the, you know, I think there was just a, I want to say naive or lack of understanding of the importance of gas and how, how energy is just an absolute necessity and gas is a key component for that. And now today you feel the positive nature of it. We've had uh, Secretary Wright's been here, a fantastic individual. I got to spend some time with him last night to uh, hear his views and everything. He just so well versed on everything. Uh, Ambassador Tillman has just been an exceptional host for us and uh, almost feeling like home when you, you, you came uh, to see things. So it's been just a differentiator, the involvement, working um, in energy. You know, I'm really proud of Chevron. I'm really proud of what we do. And you can feel the, uh, uh, just, just the positive nature of where energy fits today and how gas plays that key role to drive progress. Absolutely, driving progress all the way. Freeman, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thanks for your time. Well, that wraps up another conversation from the Energy Connect studio on the ground at GasTech in Milan. Join us again next time and follow us on social media, LinkedIn, and you can find all the interviews at energyconnects.com. I'll see you then.